Now, when I tell stories, there's a system I use to make sure you're paying attention. It's real simple. I learned this from my dad, Joseph Boucher, who was actually a very well-known Abenaki Native American storyteller. And actually, that's where I learned many of my stories from the Native side of my family. And the way this works is every so often, when I'm telling my stories, I will say the word, ho, and you will say, hey. Let's try that. Ho, hey, ho, hey. hey. Just to make sure you're awake and listening. Ho, hey. hey. Well, some of my favorite stories to tell are animal stories. And since I don't think I've ever met any of you before, you guys think you've ever seen me before? I get to tell one of my favorite stories. And this is a story about two animals. One you know, and one you might not know. But you will know the second animal by, by the end of this story, because it will be changed in some way. Ho! Oh. The first animal is bear. You all know bear, right? One of the biggest animals in the forest. The second animal is brown squirrel. You know red squirrel, you know gray squirrel. You may not know brown squirrel, but you will by the end of this story. Ho! Oh. Well, they say that long ago, Bear. Bear would walk through the forest and brag about himself. Bear would walk through the forest and say these words, I am Bear. I am the biggest. I am the strongest animal in the forest. I am Bear. I can do anything. Oh, hey. well, one day. Long ago, Bear was walking through the forest saying those same words. I am Bear. I am the biggest. I am the strongest animal in the forest. I am Bear. I can do anything. Well, just then, just then, a small boy spoke out from the ground and asked, Can you do anything? Bear looked down. Who would dare question Bear? Well, there was little brown squirrel. Bear was insulted. He was upset. He looked down and said, yes, I am Bear. I can do anything. Well, that little brown squirrel thought it might be able to play a trick on that big bear. So he looked up at that bear and said, hmm, if you can do anything, can you make it so that the sun does not come up? Now that was a big thing to ask, right? Even a bear. But once again, do you think bear liked being questioned by that little animal? Bear looked out and said, yes, yes, of course, <laughs> I can do that. I am bear. I can do anything. <laughs> then make it so, make it so that Tomorrow, the sun does not come up. Hope? Okay. Well, just then, just then, the sun was starting to go down for the day. And so Bear walked out into a big field. Bear looked at the sun. Bear pointed at the sun and said, Sun, tomorrow you will not come up. And growled at the sun. Now the sun just slowly disappeared behind the mountains, as it does every day. And Bear turned back to that brown squirrel and said, you see, the sun is scared of me. It is uh, running away from me. Tomorrow, it will not come up. Well, that little brown squirrel just smiled and said, we shall see. <laughs> Hope. <laughs> now that night, Bear and brown squirrel, they sat next to each other, waiting to see if in the morning the sun would come up or not. And as they sat there, they both sang a separate song. And you get to help me with these songs. Let's see. From here over, you all get to be the bears in here. <laughs> you guys get to be the brown sweat. You <laughs> sound pretty squirrely to me. Okay, good. Now, bears, you're going to sing this song. The sun will not come up. Good. Brown squirrels, you're going to sing this song. 
The sun is going to rise. Ooh. The sun is going to rise. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Hope. Okay. Okay. Bears, you're going to get to start. You're going to start singing. What we're going to do is I'm going to start you off, and you're going to keep singing. Hope. Then brown squirrels, I'm going to help you join in. Both groups are going to keep singing until I do this. Then you will. Okay. Ready, bears? Here we go. The sun will not come up. The sun will not come up. The sun is going to rise. 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 They sang both of those songs all night. And as they sang those songs, different animals began to join in. Moose joined in. Wolf joined in. Deer joined in. Hawk joined in. Eagle joined in. Porcupine joined in. Woodchuck joined in. Bobcat joined in. Mountain lion joined in. Mouse joined in. Rabbit joined in. Some sang with bear. Some sang with brown. And when it got close to that time, when the sun usually comes up, they all sing just a little bit louder. The sun will not come up. The sun will not come up. The sun is going to rise. 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 And just that. The sun. <laughs> I knew you couldn't do anything and everything. <laughs> and began to tease that big little bear. And that bear got very, very angry. That bear looked out at that little brown squirrel and said, <laughs> Yes, it's true. The sun did come up. But you're not going to talk anymore about it because I eat you. And he put his giant paw right on top of that brown squirrel's little fuzzy head. Now that brown squirrel had to do some quick thinking, or that would be the last sunrise it would ever see. So that little brown squirrel spoke out for any bear's big paw and said, oh, oh bear, please um, just lift your paw for one moment and uh, let me apologize to you and uh, <laughs> admit you were right. Bear thought about it for a moment. It'd be good, he thought, to get an apology from this silly brown squirrel. Who is he to question me? I will do that. Lift up my paw, let him apologize, and then I will feed him. Hope. Yeah. And so Bear lift up his paw. But guess what that brown squirrel did instead of apologizing? <laughs> that brown squirrel bounded as fast as it could towards its hole. But you know, even though bears are big, they can be pretty fast too. And that bear took one of its paws with those claws and just <laughs> reached right after that brown squirrel's just there, like, yo! Claw that brown squirrel down the back. But brown squirrel got away, whipped those claw marks on its back, went down into its hole to hide, and bear couldn't pick it up. Hope. Hey. Hey. Now it was almost winter time when this happened. And what do many animals do in the winter time? Hey. Well, that little brown squirrel had all of its nuts and fluids stored for the winter. And it was so tired running away from that bear, it just went down in that hole with those claw marks on its back and went to. <laughs> Meanwhile, bear, not feeling half as good about himself, ambled off into the forest, looking for a place where he could sleep as well. It was a long winter, and both those animals slept the whole time. And when the springtime came, when the snow finally melted away from the land, that little brown squirrel curled up out of its hole, and it turned around to look at its back, and where those claw marks were from bear, the hair had curled back with little white stripes. Anybody know what animal? Yes. <laughs> That's how they say uh -huh. chipmunk got his stripes. But you know, that's not the end of that story. Because when that chipmunk woke up with those new stripes on its back, the sun just happened to be coming up for the day. And that chipmunk got up into a tall tree and began to, began to sing. 
to that rising sun. And you can still hear chipmunks sometimes in the morning time singing to that rising sun. And you know what chipmunks singing in chipmunk language? I'll translate it for you. The sun still comes up. Ooh. The sun still comes up. And guess who the last animal is up in the morning? The bear. Because bear is sick of being reminded that even he cannot do anything and everything.